Hi, this is your host, Eric Young. I'd like to welcome you to our call with today's guest, Ruth Stern. Ruth is a transformational coach and mental health therapist with a certification as an EFT practitioner and trainer. She is the creator of several audio programs designed to help manifest success and abundance, how to cure insomnia, and release blocks to success. And Ruth also leads live trainings to become an EFT practitioner as well as manifesting success and abundance. Her practice and mission is in teaching others how to use EFT and the principles of the law of attraction to get abundance and success in every part of their lives. Ruth is honored to assist people on their journey of personal empowerment and transformation. I just love that. I feel honored to to be able to present people like you, Ruth. Now, today, you're going to discover the number one key factor that you must master in order to sustain success the reason why so many people struggle to create success. You'll learn how to delete your negative files that you have downloaded to release blocks to prosperity and abundance. You'll discover how to practice the law of attraction to magnetize money and success and how to change your money set point and consciousness and finally get paid what you are worth. Ruth, thank you so much for joining us today and welcome to the call. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. Great, great. Now, Ruth, do you think you can maybe take a couple of minutes and share what you believe to be some of the major turning points that have allowed you to manifest your current level of success? Well, um, I think there are a few turning points. Um, as you said, I, I've been counseling. I don't know if I said in the beginning, but I've been counseling for over 30 years, and then I moved also. I have this coaching practice as well. I think a big turning point in looking at success is when I looked at my own downfalls, it started oh, some years, years ago. I, in the beginning of my practice, I had an income and it would be at a ceiling of like around $50,000 and it would always stay the same. It just never raised. And I just thought, well, that's my profession. I had these limiting beliefs. It's just my profession. That's just the way it is. And I also had other beliefs that it's just hard. Everything's a struggle, just just the way it is. And I accepted it. And that went on for quite a few years. And then about six years ago, I was introduced to EFT and I started studying it very intensely. About the same time, I also learned about the law of attraction. And I started using both processes, especially EFT with my clients and started seeing major shifts with them where they were able to change old patterns, old behaviors, and almost, and many times very quickly. But I wasn't using it at the time for my income. I was really kind of focusing more on them and dealing with their challenges, and I had used it on other things with myself. But then, a big turning point for me was about four years ago, I got divorced, and everything turned upside down in my life. I was not prepared for what was about to happen, my leveled income was now plump going down because I had a lot of financial and emotional changes that I did not expect. And things were really upside down and struggling even more. I found myself having to take out money from my investments and there wasn't much in there to pay my bills. And it was a really, really scary time in my life. So that's when I started looking at EFT really deeply for me in this part of my life. And I started looking at my beliefs, especially around struggle, because it seemed to follow me wherever I went. I just accepted that as part of my life. So what I did was I started using EFT like I tell my clients to do. And I started tapping to clear my beliefs and specifically the beliefs that I had that many of you may have on the call as well is um, that in order to have success, I have to struggle. That was one. My next belief was in order to make a good income, I have to work very hard. And people in my profession really don't make a lot. Those are my three biggies. And when I use EFT, by the way, that stands for Emotional Freedom Techniques, for those of you who don't know, and I'll explain and how to do that later on in the call. When I was able to tap through the belief and release the negative perception that literally kept me exhausted and living paycheck to paycheck, I started to see things start changing. 
I literally emotionally felt a release. And I started seeing things, a success started to come to me because I was seeing things more clearly. I was able to manifest more clearly. I was able to have priorities of how I'm going to run my business in a better way. And then I started studying the law of attraction to start working on becoming a magnetic manifester. And when I used both together, things started to majorly shift. And I started to double my income within probably a year. And sometimes, many times, I made shifts in my income without even using any marketing techniques. It was just my whole energy was shifting. So that, that was the big turning point in my life when I was really down low in my income, scared to death. And I said, I have to really um, invest myself in some clearing techniques and starting to use this energy work to clear this whole struggle thing. That's what really made a shift for me. Wow. That is, uh, that's a really amazing story. That fast, it just started turning right around for you. That's great. Mm-hmm. It sounds mm-hmm. like these are really powerful. Now, your specialties, as you said, are, are with EFT and using the principles of the law of attraction. Is there some reason why you were drawn to these processes in particular? Well, as a therapist, I was originally trained in traditional talk therapy, which I had done for many years. And I I saw progress, but many times it was very, very slow. And many times I felt stuck in how to help people. And I've always been a clinician who's wanted to help people and make dramatic shifts, not just to feel nice or okay, but to really create transformations in their lives. And um, I've always been open to the spiritual realm. And um, I started reading about energy and energy work, which we don't study in traditional training. And in all my readings as spiritual writers, it just started to make sense that we should use energy. And then especially when I started studying EFT and I saw results so quickly, I couldn't deny using it. And I thought, how can I not use it when people are making great shifts very quickly? So the two of them, really are a great partnership. They both deal with energy work. And what I found was in many times there are people that practice the law of attraction, but they get stuck. They're not able to vision what they want clearly because they say, well, I really want this great income or I really want to lose this weight, but, you know, that yes, but. And the but is their negative belief or their sabotaging belief. And EFT, for me, was the part that addressed that. And when you use EFT to release the blocks, the law of attraction flows much more easily uh, because EFT literally is about releasing the doubt. And when you release the doubt in the principles of law, you can be in the state of allowing. And when you allow, you can manifest. So the two together is a powerful, powerful combination. Oh, okay. So what do you say is the the number one key factor to creating success and and eliminating self-sabotage? So in my opinion, based on the work that I've done in my own career and with other people, the number one secret to manifesting any goal you want is to manage your energy. Because to attract what you want, you need to manage the energy to be what the law of attraction says, to be a vibrational match to what you want in life. So it's really about raising your mindset to support you in your goals. And we aren't able to succeed when we're stuck in that lack or scarcity thinking, that thinking of not enough. So, for example, if you say you want to lose weight as your goal, but your thoughts are saying, oh, it's too hard, it's going to take forever, I don't have what it takes, you will create that misalignment in your energy thoughts or energy, and the law says you're sending mixed signals to the universe, and therefore you're not able to manifest. So managing energy is crucial to not only building your finances, but building your relationships, your health, really basically everything. So when you don't manage your energy, your happiness is dependent on external circumstances. So for example, I'll be happy when I get a promotion. I'll be happy when I lose that weight. But then what happens is you're at the mercy of whatever's going on around you. 
So when you really are managing energy, your happiness is generated from within. And as the law says, so within, so without. In my experience working with entrepreneurs, I've seen many people with lots of knowledge, with lots of skills, but they're still not succeeding. And what's happening is they're limiting beliefs, which is that negative energy sabotages them to succeed. For example, I worked with one entrepreneur who he came in and his his income was $150,000, but he wasn't happy with that. He said, I want to make a half a million dollars like a lot of my colleagues, and I can't seem to. He had that ceiling like I talked about before. And so I worked with him, and we discovered some underlying beliefs that were attached to his past, which many of us have. We are stuck in some of our progress because of some things that happened in our past, and we adopted beliefs. And in his case, his father came from another country, and he always had to struggle and chase after money to make it in this country. And he told his son at a very early age, never chase after money, that is evil, and it will destroy you. And this was repeated like a mantra all through his life. And he remembered it, but kind of put it back there somewhere. He went on to be a successful entrepreneur, but like he said, it it had a ceiling, and he was frustrated. And so we used EFT to challenge that belief and work through the belief so that he could reframe it to something else. And we challenged some of those beliefs. There were other ones, too, that blocked him. And literally, in two or three sessions, he was able to release that and move through it. And he lost his feeling of feeling guilty to want more. It was gone. And his sense of freedom to uh, now succeed in his business completely changed. Wow. So it, it sounds like you're, you're saying that the that energy, that managing your energy is, is, is the number one key to, you know, to making EFT and the law of attraction work for you and, and manifest success. Is, are there other ways that it works as well? Or is that the only, the, the only thing that it does? You mean, uh, let me ask you a question, make sure I'm understanding your question. Is there other things that EFT does besides managing energy? Is that what you're asking? Uh, yeah. How else does, does EFT you know, help us manifest success? I guess is what I'm asking. So EFT, the premise of EFT is all negative emotions create an imbalance in the energy system. So, but that includes thoughts. So when you're working with EFT, and I'll, I'll do a demonstration with this very soon, you're not only uh, working with uh, feel, beliefs, but you're also working with feelings. What it's doing is it's When you're tapping, when you're using this tapping technique, you're harmonizing energy. Energy has been considered imbalanced. And when you have an imbalanced energy, it affects your emotions, it affects your thoughts. You're in misalignment. You're in misalignment. So to align the mind, body, spirit, you're tapping on the body points while you're tuning in to the specific thing that is sabotaging you, whether it be a belief or feeling. So... EFT can literally shift your perception. It can help. And and when you change your perception, you also change behaviors. And when you change behaviors, you change actions. So everything that relates to success starts with a thought. And that's where EFT is so powerful. When you change your thought, you change your behavior. And that's where it falls into place. Yes, it all falls into place. Exactly. It's like you have this aha you were stuck and suddenly, oh my God, there's a door. I can open it now. Yeah, nice. So it, it sounds like it also kind of like just opens you up to new possibilities as well. Am I, am I right? Yes, absolutely. New possibilities, new thoughts, new shifts. It's just, it's quite remarkable. I was working with a woman. I did a three-day training this weekend in Florida. And I was working with a woman who was married over 40 years. And we're doing an EFT session, a demo in front of everyone. And she says, I, I lost my love for my husband um, because of many things that have happened. And she was crying because she wanted to get this feeling back. But she said, it will never be the same. I can never feel the same way I used to. And she cried for the sorrow and grief. So we started tapping. And in the process of it, we were 
able to help her do reframing. A lot of what happens in EFT is we do reframing as well to really look at a situation differently. And when you tap and reframe, it's very, very powerful. It works very quickly. And in the reframing, I was able to help her see that some of what he does unintentionally is because he's terrified, terrified that she will leave. And that shift in perception for her was she was able to develop compassion for him. And in that compassion, she changed her whole view of him. The next day, we had a three-day training. She said, not only am I able to forgive him, but I'm realizing our relationship actually can be better now because I'm open to him and he's actually open to me as I speak to him. So she did a major 180 around that whole relationship. That's just an example of what can happen with EFT when you go, when you go deep with it. That is really impressive. Yes. Wow. Uh, I know a lot of people would really be able to use the the knowledge that and the help that EFT can give to them, it sounds like, for a lot of different reasons. Do you think you maybe could guide us through a process so we can kind of, you know, really experience this kind of energy work ourselves to release limiting blocks? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. So what I'd like to do is first let everyone know who doesn't know about EFT. First, what is it? And then I'll go over how to do it and we'll, we can do a whole process on that. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Techniques, developed by Gary Craig, who was an engineer from a Stanford engineer, a very brilliant man who created this whole technique. And uh, basically, the premise, again, I said it before, is, is that all negative emotions create an imbalance in the energy system. That's the premise of EFT. And EFT is based on Chinese acupuncture. And so very briefly, Chinese acupuncture says there's about 12 meridians or energy circuits that run through a body. This is the energy. And when there's some block in that energy, people can have pain or illness. So they use needles to open up the chi, the energy, and that releases the pain or the problem in the parts of the body. So with TFT and EFT, they discovered that you could use the same principle with emotions. So instead of using needles, we use acupressure. We tap on the major points of the meridian system of the body as we tune into the problem, which we'll do, do in a moment. Mm -hmm. And what that does is it helps reduce or eliminate negative feelings and thoughts as you tap. And the only way you'll know it is by doing it. So everybody hang in there because we're going to all do this process together. Yeah. And I think w what else is happening is I believe the EFT process takes us also into, a, in a lot, into alignment, just like the law of attraction talks about, because we start thinking and feeling more in harmony as we balance our energy. Um, and it's a very powerful technique to help release blocks very rapidly and put you into more empowered state. And, and I wanted to let everybody know there's, a, there's more and more research starting up with now with EFT, and there's a study that was published, I believe it was last year, in the Journal of Mental and Nervous Disease, and, and this is significant. Um, it was conducted by David Feinstein in Los, Dawson Church, and in the study, they showed a 24% decrease in cortisol levels. And cortisol is most commonly known as the stress hormone, and it's one of the key elements of the body's fight or flight response to stress. And this is huge because we know through people's reporting that they feel much more calmer and balanced. But now we have a study to show physically and chemically something is different happening. 24% is, is very significant. So yeah. this is the beginning. Uh, things are starting to show up with research that's going to be more and more exciting. Oh, wow. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. So um, let's see. Should we do the process for, I think what I'll do is let's do the exercise first, a little piece of it, and then I'll go back and demonstrate the points and then we can go right into the tapping. Does that sound okay? Sounds great. Okay. So what I thought I'd do is, since this is about creating the success mindset, and for many people, that's about wealth, 
and financial freedom, but it certainly can be in other areas of your life. But for this one, we'll do an exercise for financial success. So if you're at home, uh, get a piece of paper. If um, hopefully you're not driving, you won't be able to write, but you can <laughs> you can think this in your head. So what we're going to do is we're going to do an exercise to discover what your wealth set point is. So everyone, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to write down your desired income that you would like this year. But make this income, when you write it down, a really great income where you feel financially free and you can see all your debt is paid and you have enough money that you can take time off and have vacation, get massages, whatever you like. Make this income where you're really thriving, making a difference in the world, Make it bold, where you're no longer struggling and you can have lots in savings. So everybody write down that number. Okay. And now, after you've written down that number, now what you're going to do is write down on a scale of 0 to 10, how confident are you that you can meet this desired income? So 0 would be, I'm not confident at all. And 10, I'm absolutely confident I can make this amount of money. In, in, in a certain amount of time, and, and how much time do you think is oh, a... In a year. If you had a whole year, how confident okay. would you be to make this kind of income in one year? Okay. All right. Should I tell you uh, how much I, I put down or anything? Or... You don't have to tell me the number, but you can tell me the, the belief number. What On a zero to ten scale, how strong was your belief that you can make that income? Honestly, right now, I'm thinking it's about a three Good. if one is the lowest and 10 is the highest. Yes. Okay, great. And for those of you on the call, that would be, I mean, everybody's going to have different numbers, but the most people will report they are not at a 10. That would be typical or even a nine. So now what you're going to do, everyone, is write down the income that would be a 10. So you're actually going to write down the number like in a year's time that I think I could make and believe on a scale of zero to 10 as a 10, yeah, I can make it. So write down that number. Okay. And whatever number everyone wrote down, that is your wealth set point. That's the exercise to show you where your wealth set point is. So when I was making always 50 or 54,000, something like that. That was my wealth set point. I couldn't get past that because that was my set point. And everybody needs to know that. That's, that's a really important exercise. You can't, so for example, if you wrote, if somebody wrote down, uh, they want to make 100,000, but their wealth set point is at 50,000, you can't reach the 100,000 or you'll really struggle because your mindset doesn't support that. Right. So, how do you know what your mindset is? Everybody now, this is the next thing you're going to write down. You're going to write down why you think you can't make that 100,000 or whatever that big number is that you put down. And those will be, whatever you write down is going to be those, that negative chatter that you do consciously or unconsciously. And I'm going to throw out some common ones. So if everybody, they apply to you, you can write these down. So some common mindset ones are... I don't have what it takes. I don't have the time. In my work, people don't make that kind of money. Here's another one. It's not spiritual to want to be rich. And there are many others, but I just thought I'd throw out some to get you all started. Okay. I have got actually not enough time uh, to, to do the kind of work that it would need that I would need to do to uh, get that. Uh -huh. um, I also have that I'm just starting out with this new business that I started. And, and actually, I'd also written down that it's not spiritual to want to have, you know, more money than you necessarily need to survive. Oh, so, so you have that one. Reasons. Yeah. Yes. yes, that's a really common one for help people who are healing practitioners and I've certainly had to release that one too. I can, I want to share something really quick that I learned from Wayne Dyer about that one that really helped me release the not spiritual part. And this was really helpful. Maybe it'll help you, Eric, and people out there who also believe that. In one of his books, he wrote about it and he said, 
how is it not spiritual to want to be to to have a wealth a good wealth and good income he said think about it he said when you are wealthy you have the ability actually to give more and if your money can give more and help more people that's a good thing and then someone else wrote if you were greedy before and then you make money more money you will be more greedy but if you were generous and then you make more money you will even be more generous and i think those kind of sets of belief is a way to also start turning it around yeah. because money in itself is not evil it's your beliefs about it and what you do with it so if you have a lot of money and you have a good generous spirit it can do wonderful things so it's another another piece of a reframe people can use yeah that actually does does help out and uh, that's a really nice little little tidbit there i like that yeah yeah he actually really addresses that so with everybody just like eric's you know there's not enough time i'm just starting out it's not spiritual and 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 other people have other thoughts what all those beliefs have in common is doubt that, and so when you have doubt, you are not in the state of allowing. And in the law of attraction, when you don't allow, you can't manifest. So the first thing we want to do is clear those beliefs. So now we're going to teach you the points. I'm going to teach you EFT, and then we're going to do a tapping and so that you can experience how to release some of the doubt that you wrote down. Okay, so I'm going to talk everybody through the points. The first point is a, called the karate chop point, and it's on the side of your hand, and you can tap on either side. It's the side of the hand where somebody would do a karate chop point. So you take two or three fingers from one hand, and you tap on the side of your hand, the karate chop point, and you tap. And in EFT, we tap about seven times, but you won't have to count because we tap pretty quickly. You just tap. You don't have to tap too hard, too soft. Just tap. Okay. And in a moment, we'll be tapping, we'll, we'll start the tapping there at the karate chop point. That's where we'll be starting and talking about the doubt. The next point is between your nose and your eyebrow, right in the corner, and tap. The next one is the side of the eye on the bone. The next one is under the eye on the bone, kind of right, right under the pupil. Okay. The next one is underneath the nose. Tap, tap, tap. Next one is in the crease of the chin. Tap, tap, tap. And the next one is, uh, it's called a collarbone point. Uh, what you do is find the indent of your throat, that place that goes in. Just go one inch down and then one inch to the right or the left, right underneath your collarbone point, and you tap. For men, it's kind of like where they would tie a tie, and you tap. Okay. Next one is um, the armpit. You find your armpit. On the side of your body, go down four inches and tap on the side of your body. For women, it's like where your bra strap would be. And the last one is on the top of the head, right in the center. And I tap in a circle. The Chinese say there's about 100 meeting points there. And that's it. That is this protocol for anything that you're tapping on is what we do with those points. So I'm going to talk everybody through the points. So you'll know where to move to. And Eric, um, you're going to be the echo. You're going to repeat everything I say. And okay. everyone on the call is going to repeat it too. And what we're going to be doing again is we're going to, you're going to tune into your, I would for now, I would now pick on one belief that you have. So everybody focus on one of the beliefs, even if you wrote down more than one and focus on that income that you want, but you still have doubts that you can have that. And we're going to tap on the doubt and see if we can re release and loosen some of that doubt. Because remember, when you're releasing and loosening, you're now opening the door to allow and open the door for possibilities to make it happen. That's what we want. Great. Okay. So, ready? Mm -hmm. So, we're going to start, everyone, on the karate chop point, and you're going to repeat everything that I say. Okay. Karate chop. Even though I have doubts, I can make a great income. I love and accept myself. Even though I have doubts, I can make a great income. I love and accept myself. Even though I have a lot of doubt, I can have this amazing income. 
even though I have a lot of doubt, I have, can have this amazing income. I choose to love and believe in myself. I choose to love and believe in myself. Even though it's hard to believe I can make this happen. Even though it's hard to believe I can make this happen. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Eyebrow, this can't happen. This can't happen. Side of the eye, it would take too much work. It would take too much work. Under the eye, I have enough stress. I have enough stress. Under the nose, besides, people in this work really don't do that well. Besides, people in this work really don't do that well. Chin, and I don't have a lot of time. And I don't have a lot of time. Collarbone, who am I to think so big? Who am I to think so big? Under the arm, I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where to start. Top of the head, I can't imagine being this successful. I can't imagine being this successful. Eyebrow, I've got doubts. I've got doubts. Side of the eye, I don't think I have what it takes. I don't think I have what it takes. Under the eye, I really want it. I really want it. Under the nose, my thoughts say no way. My thoughts say no way. Chin, what if I try and fail? What if I try and fail? Take a breath. We just say take a breath. It kind of moves the energy. And now we're going to do another round, and then I'll check in with you and everyone. Okay. Starting with the eyebrow point. There's a part of me that has this fear it just can't be. There's a part of me that has this fear it just can't be. Side of the eye, there's another part of me that knows I really deserve to thrive in a big way. There's another part of me that knows I deserve to really thrive in a big way. Under the eye, I'm sick and tired of letting my fears rule me. Sick and tired of letting my fears rule me. Under the nose, I really want this. I really want this. Chin, it's my time. My time. Collarbone, what if I could open my heart and mind? What if I could open my heart and mind? Under the arm, to new ways to make it happen. To new ways to make it happen. Top of the head, I might be surprised what doors might open. I might be surprised what doors might open. Eyebrow, what if I could ignite the light inside of me? What if I could ignite the light inside of me? Side of the eye that deserves to give my gifts without struggle. It deserves to give my gifts without struggle. Under the eye and make a great income. And make a great income. Under the nose and serve my clients. And serve my clients. Chin, because the more I thrive. Because the more I thrive. Collarbone, the more I have to give. The more I have to give. Under the arm and I really want to give and serve. And I really want to give and serve. Top of the head, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. That's my purpose. That is my purpose. Eyebrow, I'm ready to live this wonderful life I was meant to have. I'm ready to live this wonderful life I was meant to have. Side of the eye, I want to wake up every day excited to live my purpose and dream. I want to wake up every day excited to live my purpose and dream. Under the eye, it's time. It's time. And in those, it's really time. It's really time. And I so deserve this. And I so deserve that. Take a breath. Okay. So, Eric and everyone else, um, go back to the income, the original income that you wanted to make and that negative belief. And what do you notice? What happened there for you? feel completely different internally. Yeah. I feel like this sort of, um, okay. Like, you know, in, in, uh, in science, they, in physics, they had the, they had a, a, a like I saw on a seesaw, there's the thing in the middle that's the, the fulcrum on that point, you know, 
that the seesaw sort of goes back and forth on, I feel like it's moved closer to a spot that can that makes it easier to tip that balance. Excellent. Excellent. It's so, really weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, everybody has different shifts with EFT. Some people will notice yours is more of a cognitive shift, or, or do you also feel it in your body? Sometimes people say they kind of feel it in their body, too. Something feels lighter or something feels different. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's not really so much of a cognitive shift. That's that's how I'm kind of putting words to it. I I just I feel like internally like a little lighter and and a little and more confident. Like I really like the way you sort of like took us through a journey on that, you know, from the, the uh, you know, saying the doubts, like voicing them. Yes. And yes. and then, you know, like resolving them at the end and that yes. Yeah, that's wow, that's so powerful. Yeah, yeah, it's it's wonderful, and that is that's the process of EFT. First, you honor the negative things that are going in, all that junk. You've got to honor that because that's what's there. It's there for every one of us. Right. We all struggle with doubt and fears. That's that ego part of us, and we have to honor that. But once we release some of that, then we can start looking at, okay, what's another way I can look at this? What's another way? How can I reframe that? And that's the beginning of moving into new possibility and reframing. And everybody experiences that differently. So that's great. And hopefully people on the call also got some shifts. It's the beginning of your experiencing what this kind of work can do. And later on at the end of the call, I'll show you how you can take this further. I mean, there's amazing things that you can do. Um, I didn't get to, I forgot to say, but those of you who are on the call, hang on till the end because I have also a very special gift um, that I'm going to talk about that has to do with how you can take this in a deeper way and make things happen. Wow, great. Now, uh, Ruth, you talk about the, the power of ritual in manifesting things. Mm -hmm. um, what do you mean by that exactly? Yes, this is what also turned my, my mind around. I, also, I understood that the number one secret to manifesting is managing your energy, as I said. But it's one thing to manage energy, but you have to make a commitment, a commitment to do something every single day. There are many writers in the areas of spiritual and psychological growth that talk about creating a spiritual journey for about 30 to 40 days. You'll see many writers say, do this for 30 days or do this for 40 days, and there's a reason. When you create a ritual every single day and you don't skip a day, you start creating major shifts in consciousness. And in order for all of us to create this abundant mindset where we can create whatever we want in life, we have to make a real commitment that we're going to do this every day. Uh, for example, if you worked out with weights and you said, well, I'll do it once in a while, you're not going to see results. The average a uh, personal trainer will say you have to work out three days a week, at least 30 minutes, and probably within six to eight weeks, you'll be in, begin to see muscle formed. So the same way we do muscle is the same way we have to build our consciousness and our mindset in the same way. It has to be a religious ritual or practice, but it doesn't have to be very long. The um, product that I developed is it's 10 minutes a day. It's very simple. So it doesn't have to be long. It's just allowing yourself to put yourself in that state of higher consciousness. And what I mean by that is, is that you're taking moments to release the negativity with EFT and then move into law of attraction visualizations where you're connecting with your highest self. Some people call it their higher power, God. And to when you make that connection with your highest self, that is the place where you release resistance. And when you release resistance, you are opening the flow for abundance in love, connection, prosperity, and so much more. So the ritual is what is so powerful. And I'll, I'll tell you what happened when um, I was at a, a low point. One of the things that I did was I picked up a little book on abundance and he, his was 40 days. And he said, do it for 40 days. And he had all these testimonials of oh, people were getting checks in the mail suddenly and they were able to, um, suddenly they found a job that appeared and I went, oh, that sounds a little hokey, but I believed in abundance and I said, I'll do it anyway. It's only a few minutes. 
yeah. every day. And he said, don't skip a day. He said, if you skip, you have to start all over again. And I didn't want to do that. So, <laughs> and, I under- and I understood why he said that because negativity is like Velcro. It's so, we, we're in a society with news and people gossiping and all the junk that people can bring in. And it's easy to get attached to it like Velcro. And, and, and so if you look at your body like a tank, we want to fill it with good, spiritual, loving, connection, beautiful thoughts. But if our tank is filled with negativity, we can never be in a state of abundance. Can't be. So if we make a commitment to just do 10 minutes a day, very simple processes, you're clearing out the negative, bringing in beautiful consciousness. How can you not create success? It's really impossible. And what I did was I journaled it. I did it for third, I did it for 40 days. And I, I, I actually couldn't believe what was happening. I wasn't even using some of the marketing techniques I had learned. I was just working with energy. My phone started ringing. I was invited to speak in a major, um, you might have heard of the tapping solution. It's, they have a half a million people that people from all EFT all over the world listen to this. Um, people were calling me that were unexpected. My client load started to fill up quickly. This was just happening when I was doing this. It was almost, it was like spooky, exciting. And I'm thinking, wow, this stuff really works. <laughs> So the power of ritual is very, very important because it puts you in that consistent state of higher consciousness. And as the law of attraction says, you have to heighten your vibration first, and then you can manifest because you're, you're, you're aligned. And when you're aligned, things are open for you to be able to create. Mind blowing. That's awesome. It was for Uh, me. It continues. yeah, Yeah, I can imagine. So. Now, uh, Ruth, we only have a few minutes left, um, and I'm really kind of curious about what's possible for everybody listening here today. Do you think you could take a couple minutes and, and maybe share you know, some turnarounds that you've seen from people who've applied some of the things you teach? Different people have done so many different things. One particular client I'm thinking about, she had a practice of one client, <laughs> and she came into me at a very low point. And two of her beliefs were doubt that she can be successful, even though she had all the tools and all the knowledge. And she also was a perfectionist. And perfectionists, by the way, they sabotage themselves because they want everything just so. And they are so specific in what they want that they just don't get it done. And it can be something as simple as constructing an email. The email has to be written in a certain way, and I'm not going to send it out to my list unless it's just so. And that can really set you up for a major um, not success. Right. <laughs> so we, we worked on her belief, and um, she used this program, by the way, the, the Success Mindset Breakthrough program that I, I created. And the doubt, the one on releasing doubt was huge for her because that's where she seemed to get stuck, doubt within herself that she could create this. And within, I think it was uh, two months, it was very quick. She, she religiously used the program. She was able to go from one to a full practice. That was pretty amazing right there, that one. And then I have another client who was building a business pretty much from scratch. And she decided to do 40 days of we did, we did the EFT and she did 40 days of visualization and she has doubled her income, doubled her income in a period of six months. So those are just some examples of what can happen for people in the financial area when they're working on the success mindset. Wow. Yes. I get really excited about things like this, about helping people, you know, take control of their lives. And there's obviously a whole lot more to learn from you. Now, I had asked you to create a special offer for everyone who's listening to this call, and uh, I highly encourage everyone, go to Ruth's special offer right now to experience it for yourself. Simply click on the special offer button that's on this page. Um, Ruth, can you let everybody know what you've come up with for us? Yeah, I'm excited about it. This is one of the newest programs that I created. It's called the Success Mindset Breakthrough Audio Program. It's all downloadable, and it's an all-inclusive program. And it's basically a program designed for 30 days to release your fears and blocks that stop you 
from making a great income with your business. So what I did was I used the combination of EFT and the processes from the law of attraction to create a powerful mix to create, help you create your abundant mentality. And so real specifically what you do is you tap on one belief a day that you can release that's blocking you from success and you do one of the visualizations and that's it. Very simple but powerful. It's about 10 minutes. So just so everybody knows what's in the program, first of all, there's a DVD that I produced so that those of you who are on the call today and say, I'm not sure where the points are, you'll actually see a DVD of me doing it so you'll know exactly where the points are. And then I created um, audio tappings for 20 of the most common blocking beliefs that block people from success from what I've worked with with myself and many other people. And some of those um, tappings will include how to release fear of success and failure, fear of rejection, not deserving success. That's a big one. That's a little deeper one, but there are many people that have an underlying I don't deserve. How to remove money blocks, how to release release doubts, you can create prosperity, clear procrastination and perfectionism and not feeling enough. And there's more, but those are some of the highlighted ones. And I made it so that you can have them in audio format. And of course, you can download everything into your computer and your iPad and phone and all of that. Or there are people who are visual. So I have a 45-page uh, written transcript of all the tappings, so you can see them all written. Wow. And for those of you who are not sure what are my blocks, I have an ebook in there that's called How to Identify Your Limiting Beliefs. And you just answer a couple of questions to show you which block you should tap on. And then there are four um, what I call attraction visualizations with music. And they help you, again, manifest abundance, balancing your life, creating positive energy and prosperity. So that's what is included in the whole program. And then as a special bonus, I've included a $200 gift certificate. This is a quite a deal for my next upcoming workshops. I do workshops throughout the year. And uh, it's a $200 gift certificate towards the next event. The next one I'm doing is called Manifesting Abundance in Every Area of Your Life. And this next one that I'm doing is a two-day intensive live training. And mm. the purpose of it is to, is to dramatically shift your mindset and clear your blocks to transform success and the quality of your life. And people will be coming in, and you can work on anything you want. Some people will work on, I want to attract love. You might want to attract financial freedom, better health, heightened spirituality. Whatever it is you want to work on, you get to work on that, those two days. But the training is for people who want to either create more love in their life and create overall sense of well-being and joy or massively increase your income. So if you're ready to make a great breakthrough and receive abundance, this is for you. We're going to go really dive deep. We're going to use EFT to release the blocks. There's going to be a lot of meditations. It's a very active, high-participating, transforming workshop. Um, so that's what we're, and it's a two day intensive. So you will, in this, in this next workshop, you'd actually only be paying $120 for the two days. That's the investment. Wow. Yeah. So wow, that's amazing. But that's a big one. It's a, it's a generous one, but I'm excited about it. I, I know what can happen from it. I know the transformation that can come from it. So I invite everybody, if you feel like I'm ready to make some transformations, this, can be amazing breakthrough for you. Thank you so much for the generosity there. Yes. It's only offered for this call. I made that special offer for this. Oh, that's wonderful. Now, uh, what do you think, what would you say some of the biggest benefits that people can expect to experience, you know, starting right away and then maybe some over time as well by applying the program? So the biggest benefits that they can get by using the program that I created? Mm-hmm. Well, what I did was, you know, I talked about the importance of ritual. Mm -hmm. It's so easy. You know, a lot of people uh, many times say, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get into that place. What do I, you know, and they get a little lost. And so it's all there. It's all spelled out. It's highly organized so that you can um, immediately 
start clearing the sabotage that you're doing and start making it happen, what you, know, what you want to make happen in your life. So I think it's the biggest benefit is it gives you a ritual right there. And it's just a matter of pressing a button and there it is. And it's easy and you can download it and you can take it wherever you are. Um, it's like you don't have an excuse that you can't do it. I think a lot of times when I work with clients, they say, well, I didn't have time or I wasn't sure exactly where to look. So I tried to put it all in one place and very organized so that you could just do it simply and make it happen. And most of all, you know, I think not only are you going to clear beliefs, but you also get an overall sense of well-being and joy because you're working with energy. And when you're clearing energy, you feel you feel that heightened state of well-being. Wow, that's great. I, I absolutely love this, Ruth. Uh, now, do you maybe have any final thoughts you want to share with everybody before we go? Well, you know, for me, a final thought was we all have the power to create whatever we want. And I think we don't even comprehend sometimes how powerful we can be. We really can be. But we have to clear some of that junk to be able to see and be able to use that power in a good way. Marianne Williamson talks about what is a miracle. She said a miracle is a shift in perception. And that's really what this work is doing. We are shifting perceptions. And the minute you shift a perception, the reason there's a miracle is because you can open the door to change everything, create whatever you want. Because before I thought I couldn't do it, now I think I can. That's the miracle. And that miracle leads to the biggest changes that you want in life to create your breakthrough for both inner and outer success. So that's what I'd like to leave everybody with. And I wish that for everyone. Wow, that is great. Again, real quick, simply click on the special offer button that's on this page. Ruth, you've been excellent. I, I just love this call. Thank you so much for sharing with us today. Um, I really appreciate everything that you you know brought to the table here, and I look forward to another call together in the future. I do, too. It was a pleasure to get to know you, too. Thanks, Eric, so much. Well, thank you so much. You have a great rest of your day. I, I want to thank everyone listening to the call for sticking it out here with us. Uh, we uh, really pre- appreciate all of your time and, you know, and your energies sharing here with us today. So thank you very much, and everyone enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye-bye.